Today we want to work out what impact will a President Biden have on the US stock market and ultimately our market. Paul? Well, I think before talking about President Biden, it's worth just pointing out there are actually three major elections occurring. Of course, we know about the presidential race, uh, Trump uh, Republican in red versus Biden, the Democrat in blue. But there's also two other races, of course. That's the Senate. About a third of the Senate's up for election. Currently, that's held by the Republicans of about 53 to effectively 47. That's much closer. Whether it can get to 50-50, I think, is, is the big issue, or, or Democrats can get their nose in front. The House of Representatives elected every two years, currently held by the Democrats. I think the whole market expects the Democrats to retain that. President Trump says he's going to win that. I think that's considered unlikely. But those other elections really have an impact because they really, in many ways, govern what a President Biden could do. Yes. And if anything, they're going to influence how the market's going to react uh, to the election result. OK, so let's go through the scenarios, Paul. Now, there are a lot of scenarios, but I've ruled out some, Peter, because yeah. I think a Republican clean sweep is just unlikely. Right? Yeah. So we're the just going to... The coronavirus <laughs> saw to that. And, so, and, and I don't think, as I said, anyone expects the Republicans to win the House of Representatives. So I've ruled out any of those scenarios. Let's go to the three most likely scenarios. Probably the least likely, but the one well, I think could unnerve markets the most, Peter, is a Democratic clean sweep. That's Biden plus the Democrats take control of the Senate, plus they win the House of Representatives. Probably the favoured scenario is that President, we get a President Biden. Yep. The Republicans retain the Senate. Which could they be, often do. Yep. Mm. Could be very, very close, 51-49, but they just maintain control and the Democrats retain the House. And then the third one, of which, of course, the uh, you know, President Trump favours, is that he's elected president. Mm -hmm. uh, Re Republicans retain the Senate and the Democrats retain the and House. And that's, that's still a remote possibility. That's still a remote possibility. That's still largely status unchanged. So let's go what happens if Biden wins and yeah. go through some of those scenarios. I mean, clearly the big positive for about uh, Joe Biden uh, and the Democrats is the stimulus package, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, exactly right. And that, that is one of the interesting things because Biden does come with the negatives of higher taxes and regulations for for big industry, big businesses. But on the, on the other hand, his stimulus package is so strong, Goldman Sachs reckons that the stimulus plus will outweigh the, the tax and regulation negative, but that's yet to be seen. And remember, we haven't got the stimulus package before the uh, before the election. No. And the only reason the Democrats have argued on that, you've got to think, is they think they can get it through after the election. So yeah. it's got to, that's got to be a big positive for you know a lot of US companies, particularly those in the the consumer discretionary cyclicals, mm. some of the tech companies, and all the businesses are very much focused on the US domestic market. So that's a real positive. Yep. The other uh, look area to look out for is renewable energy, because of course he said, or the Democrats have said, that they'll go to a zero emissions target by 2050. So that's got to be good for the renewable energy business. On the negatives, well, the biggest negative is, uh, is, the, is, the, is the promise to reverse President Trump's, Trump's tax cuts. Yep. Uh, that will take the tax rate back to 28%. Now, he'll need the Senate to win that, you see. That's yeah. why it comes down to the scenarios a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he's promising to increase personal taxes uh, for those earning over 400000 You've got to wonder how many Americans are on 400 k plus. Yeah. And the Democrats have never been good for traditional energy companies, no. particularly with a promise about renewables. So that's got to be, it's got to be bad for, for big oil companies. Mm. It's traditionally been bad for big pharma, and you expect the same sort of thing to happen there again. And maybe on some of the big tech, you know, maybe more pressure to uh, mm. regulate or perhaps break up yeah. some of those companies. Yeah. Companies like Facebook could be challenged uh, because of regulations, Google, and even to an extent Amazon could be as well. Those small businesses have been crushed by Amazon. And I think in, in the clean sweep scenario, uh, markets could get a bit nervous. But Peter, history's on the, the Democrats' side. Yeah. You would have thought that the market would be spooked about a Democrat victory, but this chart here actually shows that under every uh, Democrat president, the stock market's gone up pretty solidly, except for Roosevelt. And that was the second half of the, of the Great Depression. So I think there's a pretty good excuse for that. So in many ways, what happens is because the Democrats are big spenders, it ultimately creates economic growth, good for company profits, and the market goes up. The Republicans are always shown in red, which is the reverse of Australia, and the Democrats in blue. So when you're looking at the thing next uh, on Wednesday, yeah. don't get confused. That's the way it works. They talk red or blue. Yeah. Just switch the colours around. So look, under a President Biden, if he's elected, I mean, history's on the Democrats' side. So mm. yeah, Democrats have been good for the stock markets. Yeah. Uh, the stimulus package, that's going to be the most immediate thing, and mm. that's probably the biggest positive. 
And now, this is something, I guess, about how COVID-19 fares out in, in the short and medium term. Peter. Yeah, I think it's obvious that uh, Biden is going to try to impose restrictions, could even be some closures of, of some sectors and business and states. Uh, but the bottom line is that would be a short term negative. Uh, but if he gets on top of the coronavirus numbers better than uh, President Trump, well, then the economy will rebound, much like we're seeing in our own economy right now. But I think a clean sweep, that could unnerve the market. Yeah. So I think there are net positives, but uh, it really depends uh, just how it plays out across the, the three houses or the three parts of the, of the US election. The first results will start sneaking through on Wednesday afternoon for our market, and we'll see what happens overnight. And Thursday could be fun and games. Thanks for joining us.